on this board, we're talking about FACRA. Now, what does FACRA stand for? FACRA stands for the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And which regulation is FACRA? FACRA is Regulation V. And what is the purpose of FACRA? What is the purpose of the Fair Credit Reporting Act? What is the purpose of Regulation V? The purpose is to ensure the accuracy, fairness, and privacy of consumers' personal information that is assembled and used by consumer reporting agencies. Now, what is the primary intent of FACRA? The primary intent is to protect consumers from the willful and or negligent inclusion of inaccurate information on their credit reports. Now, under FACRA, what are the consumer's rights? Now, there are a lot of rights that the consumers have under FACRA. Here are a few of them. Adverse action notice. An entity that uses a credit report to deny an application for credit, insurance, or employment must provide the consumer with the name, address, and toll-free phone number of the reporting credit bureau. Another right under the FACRA is copy of a consumer credit file. You see, consumers are entitled to a free copy of their credit file. And another, another word, another term for credit file is credit report, all right? Another word for credit file is credit report. So consumers are entitled to a free copy of their credit file or credit report under FACRA if information resulted in adverse action, a denial, the consumer is a victim of identity theft with fraud alert, there is inaccurate information as a result of fraud on the credit report, or the consumer is receiving public assistance or unemployment benefits. Now, another right under FACRA is annual credit report, right? Consumers are also entitled to one free credit report every 12 months from each of the three national credit bureaus. Now, what are the three national credit bureaus? They are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And the website where individuals may obtain the free reports mandated by the FACRA is www.annualcreditreport.com. Now, another right under FACRA is dispute incomplete or inaccurate information. You see, consumers have the right under FACRA to dispute incomplete or inaccurate information. And a consumer reporting agency must correct or delete inaccurate, incomplete, or unverifiable information within 30 days of receipt of the dispute. Now, another right under FACRA is limit pre-screen offers. You see, consumers have the right to limit pre-screen offers of credit and insurance based on information in their credit report. Another right under FACRA is inform consumers. You see, credit reporting agencies must inform consumers about negative information that is in the process of being placed or has already been placed on a consumer's credit report within one month. Within one month, they must inform consumers about this. Now, what what are the credit reporting agency's obligations under FACRA? Well, there are a lot of them, but here are a few of the major ones, major ones. One, negative credit info that is more than seven years old must be deleted. Negative credit info more than seven years old must be deleted from the credit report, right? Bankruptcies, judgments, or other public records more than 10 years old must be deleted from the credit report. 
Unpaid federal tax liens may be retained on credit reports forever, forever. Um, criminal convictions also remain forever if the state reports that information, right? Um, also, must limit, credit reporting agencies must limit access to a credit file to only those with a legitimate business need. Now, what does it mean to have a legitimate business need? That means that the disclosure must relate to a business transaction that was initiated by the consumer, right? So that's a major point right there. Credit reporting agencies must limit access to a, a credit file. Another word for credit report, right? All right, so uh, credit reporting agencies must limit access to a credit file or credit report to only those with a legitimate business need, which means that the disclosure must relate to a business transaction that was initiated by the consumer. Also, another obligation is credit reporting agencies may not, may not give out consumer credit info to an employer or potential employer without written consent, right? Now, what's the penalty under FACRA? What, what, what are the penalties under FACRA? Well, credit reporting agencies, users of consumer reports, and furnishers of information may be held civilly liable for violations under FACRA. The statute of limitations to bring a lawsuit is two years after the violation is discovered, or five years after it occurs, whichever is sooner. All right, so the statute of limitation to bring a lawsuit is two years after the violation is discovered or five years after it occurs, whichever is sooner. And the penalty, how much is the penalty for a violation under FACRA? The penalty is up to $1,000. So FACRA, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Regulation V, its, its purpose is to ensure the accuracy, fairness, and privacy of consumers' personal information that is assembled and used by, con by consumer reporting agencies. And its primary intent, its primary intent is to protect consumers from the willful and or negligent inclusion of inaccurate information on their credit reports. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the chat box below. And I'll see you next time on the next video.